Hello everyone, welcome back to another review on the channel. Today, we will be taking a look at Greg Candyman featuring his collector card. So, let's get on to the appearance of Greg. So Greg appeared in Cars 1 as he tackled Mint Racer. He was unfortunately involved in the wreck at Chick Hicks cars, but was he okay as we saw him when Chick Hicks was passing him, illegally of course, so that shows that he didn't get too much damaged. Unfortunately, Taco Man was one of the sponsors that did not return to Cars 3, so we don't really have a next gen or Cars 3 stock card to compare him to. I don't know why, even out of business, maybe. Maybe just went out of business, or maybe they went bankrupt, but look at this design. I mean, how could you go bankrupt with a design like that? But I don't know, it was probably Pixar's idea, which I'm not a fan of. So let's get on to his appearance, though. No, I'm sorry, let's get on to his releases. So, in 2008, he was released in the Immortal Spirit of the South Set, which did include the real-life Apple Icon and all 35 of the other Pistol Cup racers, but it was only available to Wetland Club members, which is more of a Hot Wheels thing, so a lot of people from the Disney Cars group ended up signing up just to get that set. Then, in 2010, he was released in the Kmart days as a rubber tire car. And that was it for Greg, making him one of the rarest Pistol Cup racers until 2015, where he got released in the Pistol Cup series with flat eyes and plastic tires. Then that was it for three more years until, in 2018, he got released with, with also flat eye lines and plastic tires, but there was a catch. One of them did not have a collector card, and one of them did. So as you can see, I got the one with the collector card. Then, he was reissued from Thailand in late 2019, I think, and he has not been released since, so I would love to see him in the 2020 Blue Desert line, although I'm not a fan, I wasn't a fan of his Thailand variant, so I don't know, maybe it's for the best that he never gets re-released in the Blue Desert. So, that's about it for his appearance and releases, now let's get on to the actual review. We'll start with the call first. As you can see, we have the Taco Mint on the hood with some get gumdrops and white frosting on it, which looks really, really awesome. Really love the gumdrops effect here. Here's his expression. Now, it was pretty much the same expression as Leakless. Like, if you were the Leakless model, you pretty much had the same expression on all of them, basically. So, example, Claude Scorax himself, Mori Clutchburn, and who I do have right here. Yeah, you can see he, he pretty much has the same expression. Same thing with Floyd Movihill and a couple of others. They did, they did not change the expression for any of the Cars 1 racers, unfortunately, but at least for the Cars 3 racers and next gens, they did do that. You can see the headlights and his mustache, which is basically a grill. On the side here, you can see brown light U tires. Which looks really, really cool. Complements the body really nicely. His contingency sponsors are Pistol Cup, Nitroate, Revolting, Mood Springs, Octane Gain, No Stall, Vitaline, Gaskets, Gas Sprint, Easy Idol, RPM, Easy Idol, Leakless, Retread, and Clutch Aid. So, yeah, all the cars from Wazers, including McQueen himself, actually had a whole bunch of sponsors, but for Cars 3, they, limit, they only have a couple. And I really love the sides. The one one is in a peppermint form. You can see more of the white frosting and gumdrop design that was on the hood. It just looks really, really nice. You can see the brown background behind it. Now, actually, in the movie and in the card art, this brown was actually supposed to be light, like a light brown. But for some reason, they gave him a dark brown, which I don't know why. It doesn't look bad, but it's not accurate in the movie. You see more of the frosting. Taco mint on the sides. Which looks really nice. Some more of the gumdrop design, like I said before. 101. Gumdrops and the white frosting background. Really looks phenomenal. Window bars. The Taco Man logo below the spoiler. It with, it with a lot of gumdrops, which is very, very amazing. I love this design. On the back here, we have the taillights. The gumdrop design. Taco Man. And a slogan that reads... The high revving mint for your motor. And that's really cool because a lot of cars and racers actually don't have slogans. And this is probably my favorite slogan just because 
It says the high living mint for your model, Taco Mint. It shows what he's selling. So, that's really awesome. This is why he's one of my favorite Cars 1 racers. Actually, he's pretty much my favorite Cars 1 racer right behind Mike Icall. And maybe he's tied with Sage Vanderspin. I really like those two racers as well. Here is the base. If it, my camera will focus. There we go. There's a Pixar made in China. This is a Chinese Greg, so has that date stamp. I cannot read that. Mattel, code, 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 blah, blah, blah. So that's pretty much it for Greg. Moving on to the collector card, which was releasing Greg in, in early 2018. So you can see the Taco Mint design and then the gumdrop design, which is pretty much what we see on the hood of Greg. And you can see the dark brownish, which is a little different than the one Greg has. On the back, you can see the Cars logo, a rainbow with a rainbow foil design. It looks really nice. It has the red and black design. I don't know why it has the red and black design because for the 2018, it didn't have red and black. It was red and the desert. Maybe they could have put that instead of the black, but oh well. And it has this stand, and these things are pretty stu sturdy. I mean, if you do that, it's not going to fall off like that unless if you really shake on it, which I don't recommend doing. And these are really, really nice. So that's pretty much it for the collector card. Now let's compare him to some of his other races. First up, we have Murray Clutchburn. Sorry for moving the camera. Murray did come back for Cars 3. In fact, he's been racing since like, uh, for about 11 years now. Which is a little unrealistic in my opinion, but... Oh, you can see that Spider Stop also had a slogan. You're catching cold in my draft. I mean, it's cool. It's a cool slogan, but not as cool as Greg's. You can see he has black perms. And yeah, the same expression pretty much. Although, you can see Murray here has like raised eye lines, whereas Greg does not. He has flat eye lines. Same thing with Floyd Mulvey here. He has raised eye lines. Uh, eyelids, I must say. 70. He has no headlights, apparently. Sponsors, unfortunately, Greg and Murray came in damaged, but I mean, this is the, this is the only way I can get him. Who they can leave is Floyd's slogan. So, anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for this review of Greg. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more upcoming content. See you all next time. Until then, this is Coral Clutching signing out.